how do YouTube? It's uh, Charlie Tango 965 here with another outdoor uh, outdoor radio project type deal. Type deal. Um, before we get into what I'm doing today, um, just want to say a quick uh, well done to the two newest members of the CTX DX group, um, Lee and Matt. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Always good to have new members. So uh, look forward to catching you um, on air soon. Um, but tonight's project is um, something I've been working on for a while. It's nothing major, it's not a massive project or anything, but staying with the whole portable theme, um, I figured why not be portable and mobile. So um, use the antenna mast that I use for portable activations and um, the bazooka or the T2LT, have it on a mast and have it portable so you can walk around with it. Um, I kind of put it on the back burner for a while uh, purely because I had so much other stuff going on and uh, other projects, other people wanted me to do stuff for them kind of went on the back burner um, but Matt, Charlie Tango 1009 I think it is put um, a question up on the forum the other night on uh, charlietango.co.uk forum asking what antenna he could use with his um, radio Bergen, which kind of got me kick-started into thinking about my project again. Um, I already had most of the bits, um, so let's have a look at what, what I've come up with, really. It's, as I say, it's nothing major, it's nothing fantastic, um, it's just a simple solution to, to a problem that, that I wanted to solve. So, now I've got the regular short-back British Army Infantry Bergen, um, I've taken one of the side pouches off for the purposes of the uh, of the film. Now, you'll all have seen this before. This is the uh, six meter um, six meter roach pole. Um, the top just comes out, and then in there, you've got all the various sections in there. Um, it's just started raining, so I'm going to leave that in for now. Just my luck. And my grotty gloves. I couldn't find my good gloves, so I had to put the spare ones on. But there we go. Um, now. What I've used as a mounting system is, uh, I'm sheltering from the rain at the moment by the Land Rover, but uh, as you can see, but um, the, the, uh, the mounting system is just a normal, it's a pole or a container for fishing poles that they use when they're transporting their poles around in their rod bag. So they'll put the collapsed pole in there, it's usually as high as the as high as the pole but this one came as a freebie it's half of a half of a container it's just plastic plastic container um, the caps come off they just pull push off I'm not going to do it because it's it's raining um, they just lift off this one I've cut a hole in so I can put the mast through and the one at the bottom there I've just taped it on at the moment it's just the same as the top one exactly the same as the top one only there's no hole in it um, now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because it is pretty getting dark but in there you can possibly see just about I've got some foam which is just to keep the bottom of the mast steady stop it from clattering around really um, and then I've removed the side pouch on this side of the Bergen for as I said for filming purposes and I've just used the side straps to strap it strap it up um, and uh, yeah, it seems to be working quite well. I haven't actually tried it walking, um, so this is its uh, this is its test now, actually. So yeah, but it's just strapped on the side of the Bergen there, and uh, that's all. So I'll get the uh, radio out, I'll get the antenna up on it, and we'll see how it goes. Catch you back in a minute. <sighs> right, <laughs> first test run, um, and the obvious is is going to be apparent that at this height, the antenna is very unwieldy. You just see it sticking up behind my head there. Okay, and I'm gonna try and show you it. You can probably see it there. If I just wiggle, see it wiggling about. So, oh, it is very unwieldy at this height. Um, I'll show you as I'm walking along. But 
it's unwieldy in terms of its overall length, but it's actually quite secure and quite stable, which is which is great. Um, I don't know if I can swing this round here very easily. I say that's that's just a quick lash up using the three straps that hold the. Uh, are quite often used for the Bergen pouches. Now I don't use them for the Bergen pouches, I use the two side zips. So, excuse me, this can be still attached, can still be attached, and then zip the Bergen pouch over the top. As I say, I've only took the pouch off for the purposes of the film. Um, but it is quite uh, if I wobble it. Quite unwieldy. It's getting pretty blooming wet now, unfortunately. But I've just got the uh, the handy on there. With the antenna going off the back, a little handy there. She's getting a bit wet, but she's all right. And then the speaker mic. Now, if you're going to use a regular radio, like um, something like a Midland Allen 48 or a Cobra 29, or you know any rig really that has the speaker built in, you're going to need to think about some sort of speaker system because they don't generally have speaker mics. So. You're either going to have to put plug into the external speaker socket, um, like a PC speaker or something with a three and a half mil jack, or what I plan to do when I run mine is to plug in um, some earphones to the external speaker socket and just use them use them as a speaker because if it's windy and you're out and about, it'll be ideal. It'll be in your ear. You'll be able to hear everything nicely, um, and it should be should be good. But that's that's the that's where it is at the moment. So there you go, Matt. There's some ideas for you. I'm getting wet for you here, mate. <laughs> That's no problem. I've been in the office all week, and uh, it's nice to be out and about, to be honest, even if it is a bit miserable. But uh, obviously the beauty of it, the beauty of it is that um, these poles are adjustable in height. So you could have maybe one meter up, you could have three meters out, you could have 10 meters out, should you have a 10 meter pole. But the point is, you can adjust it to the height you want. Obviously what you want to do is adjust the length of your coax as well, because you don't want loads of coax trailing in your bag, rolled up in, you know, 30 or 40 coils. So if you're going to make an antenna for that, then obviously bear that in mind. But you can see where the balance sits on this one, just at the top there. And I've got the whole antenna out. That's the entire mast extended there. So just bear that in mind. Um, I haven't got any other antennas that I can try. I haven't got any little mag mount jobbies or anything like that at the moment that I can try. Um, obviously the beauty of this, although I haven't been able to get anyone yet, is there we go. So it is picking stuff up, which I expected it to anyway, because I know the antenna's good. Um, I've got both hands off it. There's, the, there's my hand on the camera, and my other hand is there. So it's completely hands-free. It's perfectly vertical at the moment. Um, and it is quite windy, but I'm in quite a sheltered spot. But that's the main reason I'm getting no contacts on the old uh, radio. I mean, that just unclips like that. There you go, there's 21. So it is working, and it is working fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit wet now, so I'm going to actually pack up and uh, give it another shout when I get um, some better weather. Uh, I think we might have missed the best of it. <laughs> I think we've missed the best of the... Uh, the spring but uh, that's no problem it'll come good again I'm sure but um, yeah it's, uh, that's where we're at at the moment the uh, little clear as I say I'm still walking about and it's still perfectly okay up there no problems at all but what I will do is I will try winds picking up now um, what I will try is uh, it'll be close for you <laughs> what I will try if I get out get let me get some search some shade from the wind 
there we go, caught in the trees. But what I will try is I will try some of the other antennas. Um, I've got a Thunderpole Red Devil I could try, a Sirio I can try. So I will try some of those. Obviously the advantage of those is they're less unwieldy. Um, you don't need to have all that coax out. Only downside is getting a good ground plane with them is might be a struggle. So it might be a biscuit tin or something that we have to uh, have to use. But um, yeah, there we go. That's um, that's where it is. That's just an idea for you there, Matt. Don't forget, as I say, you're going to need some sort of speaker system if you're using a regular rig. Obviously, with the handies and the speaker mics, it's easy because the speaker mic does does everything for you. Um, but obviously, on a windy day, you might find it a struggle to uh, with the wind noise. So swings and roundabouts. But uh, hope some ideas for you there, Matty. And um, as I say, I'll catch back when I've got on with it a bit further. Say so it's it's not my main thing at the moment. Um, so much other stuff on, it's horrendous. But uh, there we go, Friday evening, the 10th of uh, May, up on Salisbury Plain, with a whacking great big pole sticking out my bag. So uh, we'll catch you again soon. Bye right, for now. Just packed it back down again, just to quickly show you uh, before I sign off for the evening. Um, brew on the go. <laughs> Always got to have a cup of tea. Um... I wasn't going to bring these out ever again, but I have done. They're all right for about an hour or so. So, so he's making a full flask, and uh, the cows are on the move over there. Anyway, I just want to quickly show you this because, in case you're wondering how secure, how secure the uh, straps are, it will actually pick the bergen up. Let me see that. It will move the bergen around, and you can actually pick the bergen up by it so they will hold it very secure you don't need any special fastenings or anything like that not unless you're going to use something a bit more heavy duty um, but there really is really is no need for it to be honest and uh, yeah that proved very well didn't get any contacts on it but I'm not in a great spot I'm in quite a sheltered spot at the moment, surrounded by trees, so it's not a great spot for uh, for radio but um, yeah we'll try it another day when the good weather comes uh, I might uh, take it out on a portable activation um, and go for a walk along the uh, the ridgeway, something like that. That'd be great, and then uh, yeah, give it a try out then, see how it goes. But I will try and get some other antennas and give some other antennas a go just to see how it goes. But I can't imagine either the SWR wouldn't be very good um, or the ground plane will be next to useless. But who knows? I know Sid's done some good stuff with some biscuit tins in a rucksack. <laughs> Nice one, Sid, Mr. Noodles. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm going to have my brew, pack up, and bugger off home because it's getting a bit miserable now. And uh, I want to go in for my tea. So, see you again on the next one. And uh, hopefully the weather comes back and it's uh, not so miserable. So, we'll see you again next time.